Justin Koppel kick it away. Harrison Wendell and Logan Dehan deep for the San Henry Redskins. They'll go from left to right or from east to west if you're a Koppel's person. The sun still is not set, so could play a role here at least on the opening kickoff. So Koppel wait on the whistle, whistle and we'll start the 51st meeting between these two squads. Battle of 118, some people would say. And now the kick is away. It'll be Logan Dehan catching that one uh, in the end zone. So that will be a touchback, as John Derryberry says. It's uh, started at the 20-yard line. And Center will start first and 10 at the 20. 12 minutes to go here in quarter number one. Yep, and what John Derryberry says goes. Yeah, he is in charge today, and we will let him in charge. Good man to be in charge, by the way. He's a veteran. I don't know how many years he's been doing this, but it's been a long, long time. Probably longer than I've been alive. Yeah, that may be. And I'm sure him and Steve Warren didn't ride their sickles here tonight. No. I seen them at a softball game earlier this year, and they uh, had the, they weren't really sickles. I don't know what you call them. Uh, Three-wheelers like, that you know, like could a spider. travel a long way. Yep. There you go. Right now, Curtis put off the quarterback. Has Harrison went on the backfield with him. A receiver on – actually, two receivers on both sides. And now it's going to be a toss to Wendell. They're going to the short side. Wendell's going to pick up about well, two yards on first down. We'll have to wait and see on the mark. They're just a quick hitter over there. A couple of the Cavalier tackles in on the play that time. One of them was uh, Jack Ebbing, I think, was over there, and Cody Depweg. So we will try to get these starting lineups in here uh, very shortly around the corner here. Center Redskins slated to do a start up front. Jacob Layfeld, the center. The Berkey boys, Nicholas and Christopher at the guards. And the tackles will be Dustin Quinter and Drew Swiderman. Put off with three receivers to the right side. Got a running back in the backfield. Quick toss is going to go to Michael Gonzalez, and he'll make the catch about five yards upfield. Immediately hit that time by the Cavaliers' defensive back that time. And wearing the number two in my first time watching these Cavaliers, Blade Busher, the 6'2", 160-pound senior. And the Redskins look at the first third down of the night, third down and two. Yeah, nice completion. Makes it a manageable third down here for the Redskins. This is going to be a big one to kind of gain that momentum. Yeah, Gonzalez, a sophomore, he's their kicker as well, kind of worked his way into the offense now. Now you got a man in the backfield with Curtis put off third down and two at their own 28-yard line. It's going to be a quarterback sweep all the way, and put has got a first down up to the 37-yard line. Shoestring tackle that time. And one of the big guys, Will Fox, a 6'2", 235-pound senior. But three downs and a, now a new set of downs for the home team. Big first down for the Redskins coming on the quarterback keeper, and that's exactly what you want. If you're Coach Luthman in the St. Henry Redskins. Big guys up front for the Cavaliers. Andrew Jones here at the left tackle spot. Cody Depwig at the right spot. Evan Holman, one of the down guys, and Will Fox, the other down guys. Cavaliers with a whole bunch of guys. Five at the line of scrimmage and four guys about three yards off the line of scrimmage. And now a little pass into the flat. It's going to be an incomplete pass looking for Nolan Kunkler. And they had the numbers out there, uh, but it's an incomplete pass. We'll stop the clock 10-17, and it's now second and 10. Yeah, just going to that far side of the field, quick hitter, trying to hook, hook, up, hook up Excuse me, with Kunkler right there. Just threw it out in front of him too far. Linebackers right now, Sam Obringer in the middle there with Jack Ebbing. Also, um, I don't know if you call it a monster look or for Justin Kalp, uh, but playing right at the line of scrimmage, I guess would be a way to say that. So we'll get Justin Kalp on our list here. And now the Redskins second and 10. Put off a one-step drop. Looking downfield, it's tipped at the line of scrimmage. It'll be an incomplete pass. I think Evan Holman might have got his hand on at least the way they're patting him on the top side there. And now the Redskins look at third and 10. Yeah, you're right. Judging by the, the way Holman was reacting right there, the big man, he got his hand, big paw up, knocked that one down. So it'll be third down and 10. Redskins with a first down on their first three plays. And now 10 yards to go to move the chains one more time. Nolan Kunkler. With Harrison Wendell, combo to the right side of the formation, wide side of combo as well. As Logan Dehan in the backfield with Curtis Putoff. The junior signal caller gets the football, bobbles, steps back, got some time, looking for a home run. Got Kugler behind everybody. It'll be incomplete at the 30 yard line. He got behind Blade Bush here, but it's incomplete. That'll be three straight incompletions, and the Cavaliers will go in punt return formation. Yeah, for the Redskins, that was a tough third down to convert right there. You got 10 yards. That first one they had was a little two-yard pickup, and they were able to do that. Quarter defense holds. St. Henry looking to pump for the first time tonight. A.J. Harleman, the 5, 955-pound junior, wrestling at about the Cavalier 27-yard line. Nolan Kunkler will punt it away from the Redskin 23. Snap will come back shortly here at the 10.05 mark of quarter number one. It's the Redskins and the Cavaliers. Snap is back. 
The punt away is away, a line drive. Harleman's going to call a fair catch right at the 25-yard line. That's a good punt there by Nolan Cookler. No return. And with 9.58 left here in the first period, Kohler gets the ball for the first time. The Cavs come in 4-0 in the campaign. 2-0 in the MAC, ranked number one in the last Division 5 poll. While San Jose trying to break a three-game losing streak, 1-3 and three on the campaign. Lost here at home last week in homecoming to the Parkway Panthers. So first and 10 for the Coldwater offense. Our first time seeing them tonight. Marcel Blassing game, 6'1", 175-pound senior, who's accumulated about 1,239 yards this year, will be the main man in the backfield. Luke Sidoff, 5'9", 205-pound senior to his right. Trips to the right, lone receiver here to the left, as well as Evan Harlemer. And now they will... Blasting game will run the football and barely got back to the line of scrimmage when literally 10 Redskins were within uh, two yards of him and Blasting game a one-yard gain on first down. Yeah, excellent job by the Redskin defense to pick up on that little power run by Blasting game. The Cavaliers are going to do that quite a bit with him. Offensive line for Kowater, Kale winning the center. The guards, Braden Klosterman and Shane Ontrip, Evan Holman and Will Fox slated to start at the tackle spots. Got a couple receivers this time to the right. For the actually trips to the right, Evan Harmer, the lone receiver to the left, stood off in the backfield with the man in the shotgun, Marcel Blasting game, throws over in the flat and a big time wow. hit there. Great hit that time by the Redskins. That's Curtis Putoff coming up and putting a smack down on Braylon Harmer. That pitch and catch actually going to lose a yard and we'll call it third and 10. Nice job by Putoff shaking the block, coming off and that was, that was a big time hit right there, cutting the man right in half. And that'll bring it third and long for the Cavaliers. Third and 10, ball resting right where they started this drive to the 25-yard line with 8.50 left in our first period. This time, sit off in the backfield with Marcel Blasting game, was in the shotgun. Takes a two-step drop, got some time, got a lot of time. Looking downfield, has got a target. It'll be caught at about the 37-yard line. Coverage, Ryan Worley. Reception that time was Curtis Dewar, and that will move the chains on a 22-yard pick, 23-yard pick and kick. So yep. a third down conversion. Again, Curtis Dewar, the receiver there, makes the catch. And uh, offensive line did a great job on that play. Yeah, right there. Blasting game had all the time in the world. But, again, if you're St. Henry defensively, you know he can run. So you don't want to get back there too far and then where he can scoot away. But nice pass by Blasting game. Big pickup for the Cavaliers. Now the Cavaliers go first and ten, trying to get into Redskin territory, three, two yards away from it. Blasting game, quarterback draw straight up the middle. He's got five, got seven, and will go down right at the 45-yard line. Tackle that time for the Redskins was Hayden Beckman, the 5'9", 157-pound junior, excuse me. That's a seven-yard pickup, second and three for the Cavalier offense, now in Redskin territory. Yeah, good little pickup on first down by Blasting game. Nice little shifty moves. Reminding a lot of people from Coldwater of uh, Brody Hoying a little bit, the way he can move. That would be a good comparison. I mean, if, if you wanted to be compared to somebody as a quarterback, that would be super. Right now, sit off in the backfield with blasting game. They'll give it to sit off for the first time tonight. He's going nowhere. As he was tackled him by Harrison Wendell, at least the initial hit was Harrison Wendell. Wendell had some help that time from Nicholas Berkey. And that'll be a pickup of, if it were kind, one yard and brings up third and two at the Redskin 44 yard line. Third down manageable here for the Cavaliers. Let's see what they draw up. You never know at this point. It could be a. a Two down territory here. If they I can't would say it. four down territory, we, uh, depending on what happens here, obviously. And now Blasting Game gives it to sit off again, and this time he'll bowl his way to about the 40-yard line, and that will move the chains. The second third down conversion in succession. And on the tackle that time, Dominic Swartz had some help from Tate Layfield. But that three-yard pickup, enough to move the chains. First and 10 Cavaliers at the Redskin 40 with seven minutes to go here in a fast-moving quarter number one. Yeah, nice pickup for the Cavaliers. Got a manager coming out onto the field here. I don't. <laughs> I thought they might have saw something out there around that 40-yard line. I'll say something not. was seen, and the manager is now off the field. Trips to the left this time. Curtis Dewar right in the middle of those three receivers, Harlemer and Harlemer on each side. And now Blasting Game drops back again. He's got a lot of time looking for a home run. Got a receiver, and it's going to be incomplete at the five-yard line. The target that time for Coldwater was A.J. Harlemer. An incomplete pass, and it'll bring up now second and ten. Yeah, anytime blasting game is going to go back to throw, all you got to do is say Harlemer because you got a pretty good chance of that happening with Evan Braylon and AJ out there. You got three Harlemerts. I'd say three out of six chance at least according to got Actually, yep. three out of five because Jack Boring not dressed, uh, mm -hmm. injured tonight. Had him on my list early. 
Right now, second and 10 at the Redskins. 40, Cavaliers' first offensive possession of the evening. Redskins picked up one first down and punted it away. Last of the game, two-step drop. Now quarterback draws, got some room. Got a first down up inside the 25 to about the 23-yard line. Dominic Swartz again in on the play. Had some help from Kellen Hoying. But just a straight quarterback draw will move the chains and his first and 10 cast as they're nearing the Redskins red zone at the 22-yard line. Nice pick up there. I got him for about 18, I believe it was. 3-6. This will be the ninth play of their initial drive of the night. A Cavalier team averaging 38.3 a contest. You got Harlemer, Harlemer, and Dewar to the left side of the formation. Lone receiver on the other side, A.J. Harlemer. And now man in motion. They'll give it to Har Braylon Harlemer. He's going to cut back. He's got near a first down. Probably picked up about eight or nine yards. We'll check the mark there. Ran a little counter there. They're stopping the clock, so apparently about a 10-yard pickup. And now the Cavaliers first and 10 at the Redskins 12-yard line. Yeah, nice little move by Braylon Harlemer. He found that little hole, and he made that one cut, and he was gone. Yeah, he's had some carries this year. I did look at that stat sheet. Right now, man in the backfield is Luke Sudoff. Again, 5'9", 205 pounds, senior to the right of Marcel Blassingham. Going to give the ball to Sudoff. He's going to go up near the 10, actually inside the 10, to about the... We'll call it the eight or nine yard line. We'll let him unpile and mark before we uh, mark that one up. And on the play that time was Chase Lipmer for the Redskins. And we'll call it second down and seven. That was the tenth play of this initial drive. So nine, ten now. Actually the eleventh play of this initial drive. And a good drive and eating some clock here. Started right near the ten minute mark. So almost a five minute drive here for the Cavaliers on their initial of the evening. Sit off in the backfield again. For the San Henry Redskins, three men down right now. Sit off to the left of blasting game. Straight quarterback run, straight up the middle, up to near the five-yard line. We'll have the Redskins defense is in on that play. But that'll bring up a third down. They need to get to, what, the two-yard line, the three? We'll call it third and three right now at the 449 mark at the Redskins five-yard line. 12-play drive so far. Very impressive here. Yeah, no really big plays either. Maybe a 15-yard pass on that third down conversion or a 20-yard pass, whatever it was. But everything else has been kind of grinding. And now the Cavaliers will take a timeout. We'll take a break with them. An adjustment of the game sponsored by Town & Country Compact in San Rian Mendon on Lake 96.7. After the Cavalier timeout, third down and three to five. Get to the two. They can move the chains with 4.32 left here in period number one. Blasting game in the shotgun. Going to hand it off to Luke Sudoff. Going around the right side. Going nowhere as he'll get just barely back to the line of scrimmage. Chase Littmer in on a play with Kellen Hoying. And now a decision to make for Chip Otten and the Cavalier coaching staff. Yeah, the Cavaliers, I think they lost maybe two yards on that play. Mark it down as one. So a one-yard loss and... That's not exactly what you were wanting, probably, if you were Chip Otten calling that timeout, coming out. And it looks like they're going to go for it. This will be the 14th play of this drive. Actually lost a yard on that play. Now yep. fourth down and four and instead of fourth and three for whatever that's worth. Got two men in the backfield right now, including Jack Ebbing back there, 5'9", 965 Bond Jr. And now dropping back his blasting games. Got time, got time. Looking into the corner of the end zone. Going to be a battle for the football. What a and catch. that's what a, a great catch. catch that time wow. by Braylon Harlemer. And a great throw. Because that appeared to be really good coverage in that corner. And on the fourth down conversion, it'll be a six yard pitch and catch from Marcel Blasting Game to Braylon Harlemer. Wow, what a, what a throw. What a catch. Defender right there for St. Henry. Again, that'll be six yards. Blasting game to Braylon Harlemer. And I think if we were playing on Sundays, we would see a replay on that because that was pretty close in the corner there, but a well-thrown yeah. ball. That was a 14-play drive that covers 75 yards. And here at the 341 mark of quarter number one, quarter a chance to make it a 7 nothing advantage as Justin Kalpu is 19 for 19 on extra points, a chance to end this drive. Snap is back, hold is down, kick is up, and that's going to hit the upright. And it'll be six to nothing, Coldwater, so the extra point hits the left upright. And you were talking about it, how Cal was, I think, perfect on the season coming into the night. for 19. Way to go. 
Got the jinx. Did, did not the do that on jinx. purpose. <laughs> we have 341 left in period number one. When we return, Kawater kicks off on 96.7 away. Justin Kaup will kick it away here with 341 left in the first period. This will be a squibber. Going to be picked up by Logan Dehan at the 10-yard line. He'll go a little bit left to the 15. Now to the 20, and he is smoked right at the 20-yard line. Special team tackle that time, Miles Potcutter, the 5'11", 145-pound sophomore. The initial hit had some help from Jack Ebbing, and the Redskins will start their second drive about the exact same spot they started the first drive. Yeah, right around the 20-yard line, Miles Potcutter. He's not afraid to hit anybody as a sophomore, and that's what he does out there on that special team squad. What a drive by the Cavaliers. 14th place, 75 yards, took a half a quarter, 6.17 off the clock. Eight passing touchdowns now for Marcel Blasting game. Six yards to Braylon Hart. Remember, that was on a four down play, by yes. the way, too. Extra point hits the left upright, and 6 nothing right now. Advantage belongs to the Kawada Cavaliers. Curtis Putoff has Harrison Wendell to his right. And now they'll put Chase Lipmer in motion. They'll stand it into his belly on the counter, and he's going to maybe get back to the line of scrimmage. Andrew Jones was there. Had a whole bunch of help, by the way, too. Different, uh, guy, uh, different people up there. But we'll give Jones the initial hit there. Also went on to play that time was Cody Depweg. And we'll call it now second down and nine as they picked up just about a yard on that play. A little counter. They ran that a lot the first week that I seen them. Not so much last week. And right now you got Logan Dehan in the backfield. Nolan Kunkler, lone receiver to the right. And you got trips to the opposite side, the wide side on the Cavaliers side. Put off the quarterback, throwing over in the flats, got a target. Michael Gonzalez makes his second catch of the night, and he'll go down about two yards short of a first down. That's a good pitching catch that time. Seth Stewart, 565-pound senior on the play, and that will make it a third down and about two. A yeah, nice pickup, makes it a third and manageable for the Redskins. The last time they had that, they were able to pick it up. Now Kellen Hoying will run in a play, a fast-moving first quarter. At least it seems like it is. Two and a half minutes now left till we take our first quarter break. At the end of the quarter, we go out to Rockford as Parkway playing host of sales tonight. And now you got put off with two backs in the back. So they're going to put Wendell out to the right side of the formation. Going to line him up as a wing, actually. And you got... Logan Dehan in the backfield with Curtis put off third and two. They need to get to the 30. Put off rolling right. Rolling right in some trouble. Now rolls to his left and trying to break containment and it's going to pick up a first down. Curtis put off and that was all. Actually, we're checking and see. It looks like one referee is going to mark him about two right. yards short. Yeah, he's going to mark him back at the line of scrimmage. He must have stepped out of bounds while he's trying to reach for that. So it's going to bring up a fourth and two for St. Henry. That looked like pretty good effort by put off again from our angle, but it happened on the raw opposite side, so we could not tell where he may have stepped out. So the Cavaliers should get pretty decent field position for their second drive of the night. As A.J. Harlemer resting at about the 40-yard line, Logan Kunkler, or excuse me, Kunkler will kick it away from about his 12-yard line. That's Nolan Kunkler, 6185 pound senior. It will punt this one away. Cavaliers with a whole bunch of guys at the line of scrimmage. And that's going to be blocked there. I think Harlemer got it, and the Cavaliers will have real short field. Evan Harlemer, I think, came in untouched, blocks the punt. The Cavaliers get on it, and they will play short field first and 10 at the 15-yard line of Sandry. They will start in the red zone. Yeah, Ron, you were right on it. Evan Harlemer untouched, coming right through the middle of the line. And... He's had his eyes on the prize right there. Hit him right in the belly, probably. Yeah, a lot of times they get in there and don't block. At that time, he smothered the football. Cavaliers jump on it. Now a chance to add on to a 6 nothing advantage with a buck 53 left in our first period. As Marcel Blassing game will relay some information to the big guys up front. And got a combo formation to both sides. Luke Sidoff, excuse me, yeah, Luke Sidoff in the backfield with quarterback Marcel Blassing game. First and 10, Cavaliers at the... 15-yard line, blasting game's got five, he's got seven, he's got a touchdown, 15-yard run for Marcel blasting game on the first play of the drive. And the Coldwater Cavaliers now lead 12-0. Blasting game's second touchdown of the night, one through the air, one on the ground. He had 17 touchdowns that he was accounted for coming in. He now has 19, and the score now 12-0. Advantage, Coldwater. Right there, Marcel blasting game showing what he can do. Makes a few moves heading into the end zone. Spins right on in. Touchdown for the Cavaliers, and that's exactly what they want to do. And it looks like they're going to try for the PAT. 
One or play, no, they're, they're going to go for two. One play, 15 yards, and it took just nine seconds. So nine seconds off the clock. That was Marcel Blassingame making some people miss that time. Now Blassingame will send a combo. Actually, he trips it over here. Curtis Dewar flanked by Braylon Harlemer and Evan Harlemer. As Sudoff lined up as a wingman on the left side. And now what we got, delay a game? Yeah, delay a game that's down to zero there. Cavaliers did take a long time to get to the line of scrimmage. And now I think uh, Coach Chip Otten says, uh, let's just uh, try to get that. Let's not go chasing points all night long. Let's go for the extra point. Yeah. And in the beginning, or prior to the game, you were saying how automatic it was, and then hit the first one right off the upright. So, Cal's going to have a chance to make up for it here. I'm not going to say anything. How's that sound? <laughs> Evan Harderman will hold. He's the one that blocked the punt to put the Cavaliers into this position. Justin Cal will attempt the extra point to hold us down. The kick is up. That one's got a whole lot of leg behind it and right through the middle. The score is Coldwater 13, San Re 0 on 96.7 the wave. Coldwater, a one-play drive after the block punt. 15 yards, took nine seconds off the clock. Blasting game is ninth, or the 11th touchdown run of the season. The Justin Kalp extra point makes it 13-0. And now Kalp will kick it from right to left on the dial. Harrison Wendell looks like the man that will catch that at the 5. Now he goes up to the 10. Wendell to the 15. Near the 20. Now trying to break containment and will go down right near the 28-yard line. Best field position of the night for the Sander Redskin offense. Evan Harlemer on the tackle for the uh, Cavaliers special team. Had a little bit of help that time by John Molenkamp. Molenkamp, a 6'165 pound senior. But the Redskins, who started their first two drives at exactly the 20, will start this drive at the 29 yard line with one minute and 32 seconds left until we take our first quarter break. On that return, Wendell, he was kind of carrying Harlemer there for a couple of yards. He wasn't, he wasn't ready to go down quite yet. At that time, when Harlem made the first contact, that was a good run back. That is for sure. So the Redskins will set up at the 29-yard line. Harrison Wendell will line up to the right side of quarterback Curtis Putoff, who was in the shotgun. Nolan Kunkler, lone receiver to the right side of the formation. Got Logan Dehan, I believe, on the other side. Actually, Chase Lipman, who goes in motion, they'll fake him, give it to Wendell, and he's just barely going to make it back to the line of scrimmage. As he'll be attacked right at that spot. Looked like uh, Curtis Dewar, who's had a nice football game here early. 5'9", 145-pound senior made that tackle. And I don't think that was Dewar, though, was it? I thought it was number no. seven, but the way he's, where he's at right I think, now. I think, actually, that might have ended up being uh, 17, Seth Stewart. In okay, there. yeah, I think I just seen the seven there. I apologize. It'll be second and ten after that one picks up nothing. And now you got a receiver to the right. Hayden Beckman will be joined by Kellen Hoying over here. A combo to the right side, far side. Got a running back to both sides of quarterback Curtis Putoff. Nolan Kunkler, lone receiver on the opposite side. Man in motion will be Harrison Wendell from right to left. Putoff's going to run opposite side, go short side. And the quarterback's going to pick up about a half a dozen yards before all said and done. So just a quarterback sweep to the left that time. We, we let him unpile a little bit there. Look to be uh, Sam Obringer, 5'10", 165-pound senior, maybe the initial hit. And now the Redskins face another third down and about three. This third. is one that, sorry, they're run. This is one that they could pick up. They might not have to run. I can't see the clock exactly with the play clock, so it's got to be close. They could let it run down if they wanted it's to. It's almost dead even, I think. I don't know what that means. They probably got to run a play here, I'm guessing. Trips to the right this time for Curtis put up the quarterback. In the backfield is Chase Lipmer. And now Curtis put off looking over to head coach Brad Lutman. I think they do have to snap the ball. We'll find out here shortly. And they will. Put off drops back. Got some times. Got a target caught by Hayden Beckman. And that extra effort is probably going to move the chains. The initial hit that time by Blade Busher would have held Beckman short of a first down. But the extra effort. And when we return for quarter number two, it'll be first and 10 Redskins at the 40 on 96.7 the wave. Quarter Cavaliers will open up quarter number two playing defense. Henry first and ten at their own 40-yard line. Put off the quarterback. As Wendell in the back. See Logan Dean in the backfield. That's a Curtis put off run straight up the middle. And the junior, the Cavaliers kind of jumping that the ball may have been loose, but the referee's not going to buy that. And on the Curtis put off run, 
That's a pickup about seven. Yeah, nice little pickup on first down there. You got it seven yards. And that was a big conversion right before the end of the quarter for the Redskins to get some momentum. And right now they're really running the ball with authority, trying to get something on the scoreboard. Yeah, Puddles ran a little bit more than I thought he would. Uh, one, game, one against Covington, six against Archibald, five against Anna, and two runs against Parkway. All right now you got Nolan Cookler to the right side of the formation. You got Hayden Beckman and Kellen Owen combled to the left. Got a running back on both sides for quarterback Curtis. Put off third or second down and three. Nearing the midfield stripe. They'll give it to Wendell, and he's going to be hitting the backfield and going nowhere. As a defense that time, Jack Ebbing. And they picked up seven on first down, lose two on second down. And now we look at third and five to get to the midfield stripe where they can move the chains. Third down and five for the Redskin offense. 13 nothing. Coldwater leading San Henry. Our sole blasting game found Braylon Harlemert from six yards out on a fourth down conversion early in the first quarter, or I should say late in the first, later in the first quarter. It was a Marcel blasting game 15-yard run that ended a one-play drive. Right now put off with a running back to his left, trips to the right. Nolan Cookler, lone receiver to the left. And now put off dropping back. He's under a whole lot of pressure, breaks containment, and will go down at about the 44-yard line. And on the play that time was Evan Holman. And if Evan Holman doesn't make the play, I think Putoff may gain a first down there. Yeah, you're, he was had some daylight, a lot of green grass in front of him, and Holman just was able to get his big old hand on him and didn't let go and was able to bring him down. That's a fourth, fourth and long coming up for the Redskins, looking like they're going to punt. Yeah, Holman, 6'3", 275 pounds and a senior. And now Nolan Kunkler will punt it away from about his own 30-yard line. A.J. Harlem, the only back guy back for the Cavaliers. Snap will come back here shortly. Harlem at the 5, 955-pound junior. This time, Cooker will get away. A nice high spiraling punt. Harlem will fair catch at about the 17-yard line. So that's just the opposite of what happened last time. They started to drive at the Redskin 15. This time, they'll start to drive at their 17 with 944 left in the halftime break. It's Coldwater 13 and Sanry 0 as the Cavaliers go back on offense. A Cavalier team averaging 38.3 a game. Giving up just 9.3 a contest. So Henry came in get averaging 16.7, giving up 18.5 a game. So now the Cavaliers, first and 10 at the 17-yard line. The only post-athletic complex is the sun setting in the west right now. Evan Harlemer lined up to the left side of the formation. Dewar, A.J. Harlemer, and Braylon Harlemer to the right side. It's quarterback Marcel blasting game with Luke Sinoff in the backfield. Snap will come back here from Cole Winning. Dropping back his blasting game. Looking downfield and just about intercepted. And Logan Dehan would have had a seven-pointer as they were looking into the flat area for A.J. Harlerman. And it was Dehan that got his hands on it but unable to corral it and nobody in front of him. Yeah, I think he was seeing the end zone before he caught the football because that was definitely a pick six, no doubt about it. Just was unable to bring it in. Nice job by... Uh, Dayhan to sniff that play out. So will bring up second down and 10 for the Cavalier offense. Harlemer and Dewar to the left side of the formation. A.J. Harlemer and Braylon Harlemer to the right side. Sudolf lined up as a wingman. Sandry with three down guys and a linebacker at the line of the scrimmage right now. Not going to send anybody. Marcel blasting game looking for some blocks. He's got a, about a five-yard pickup up to about the 25-yard line. Harrison Wendell had some help that time from Hayden Beckman. Tate Layfield also over in the area, but now a very manageable third down for the Cavaliers after that eight-yard pickup, third down and two. So blasting game, that's just a quarterback sweep from the word go. He'll peek over to Chip Otten's sideline, and shortly he'll relay that to the big guys up front. As Cole Wunning, actually, yeah, Wunning will line himself up over the football. Blasting game in the shotgun. Luke stood off to the left side of him. Snap will come back. They'll give it to Sudoff. Sudoff is going to not pick up a first down. Good Redskins. I don't think he got there. As the Redskins put the beat on him, Dustin Quinter, one of the big guys there. Quinter listed on the program as we peek at that. 6'5", 330 pounds. He's a senior. And I don't think they got a first down. We're going to find out here shortly. You know, I think they're going to have a bring on the chain gang. Actually, they're going to say move it on. So wow. Just got it there. Started his drive at the 17. They're now at the 27, just across the 27, so that would make sense. So first and 10, Cavaliers. 8.41 left till we take our halftime break. Coldwater leading 13-0. The Cavaliers ranked number one in the state in D5 this year. Went to D6 championship last year, runner-up to the Cary Blue Devils. 
Oh, you got Soot off to the left side of formation. Yeah, sorry, Soot off in blasting game. They were trying to figure out which side he was supposed to be on. Now blasting game will roll to the left, gets a good block from Soot off, and now he's going to run the football and going nowhere. As Layfeld, Kunkler, and Quinter all will gather him in at about the 26 yard line, and that'll bring up second down and about 11 after the one yard loss. Second and 11. Yeah. That's getting defensive front right now. Dustin Quinter out there along with uh, Berkey. Got to get the right name on Nicholas Berkey. And the guy in the middle, Tate Layfeld. Nolan Kunkler, Dominic Swartz, the outside linebackers. Harrison Wendell and Chase Lipmer, the inside linebackers. Hayden Beckman, Kellen Hoing, Logan Dehan, and Curtis Putoff playing the defensive backs right now. Dropping back, Marcel Blassingham. Quarterback draw again. He's got some room. And we'll go down at about the... 34-yard line. We'll check and see. Chase Lipmer was in on the play. Harrison Wendell had some help there. But a pickup of about six, maybe actually about seven, will bring up another third and three. Yeah, nice pickup for the Cavaliers by blasting game. That makes this third down pretty manageable now for them. St. Henry going to look to come up with a big defensive stand. Aiden Feltz now into the football game. The big guy will line up right over the center. Feltz, a senior, going over about 300 pounds. Quinter goes about 320 to his right, so they got a couple big guys in there right now. Blasting game, the quarterback. Going to fake the ball to Braylon Harmon, looking downfield. has got a target, got do a ride open, and he'll pick up a first down right at about the 45-yard line. Kunkler on the coverage, Curtis put off on the tackle, and a third down conversion for the second time on this drive will make it first and 10 Cavaliers at their own 43-yard line. Yeah, I got that down for a nine-yard pickup. So a big one there, and Dewar, his second catch for 31 yards. Another third down conversion. They had about two of those to start that first drive. That ended up taking almost a half a quarter, actually 6.17 off the clock, a 14-play drive. This will be the seventh play of this drive with 6.35 left to the halftime break. Coater leading 13-0. Dewar and Harlemer lined up to the right side of the formation. Evan Harlemer and Braylon Harlemer on the other side. Braylon Harlemer will go in motion. They'll fake the counter to him. Dropping back, blasting game, looking, got a target, A.J. Harbor, and missed him at the 20-yard line. He had got behind the Redskin defense, but could not stretch out and pull that one, and that'll stop the clock at the 6.15 mark, and the Cavaliers now second and 10. You kind of mentioned it with Quinter going over about 3, 3.20. You got Quinter on the defensive side for St. Henry, and then Holman on that left tackle side for, for Coldwater, and, and he's no little guy either over there. Holman, he gets up. He? 275, yeah, I believe. 275, yeah, you got it right there. He's 6'3", so that's a good little battle on that far side. And both those guys got a guy looking at him. Nine Aislinn College is here, I've been told, uh, watching both those guys. I'd like to bring some meat back to Aislinn, I guess. Right now you got trips to the right this time for Marcel Blassingame. Going to throw one out in the flat, and overflows Braylon Harmer. That would have picked up some yards, but just some mistiming that time in back-to-back -back incomplete passes, and with 6'11 left at the halftime break, Third down and 10 for the Cavalier offense. And blasting game just overshot him there. Like you said, he had some green in front of him. The receivers were downfield blocking. And, and that right there, that's one of them passes. Those are easy passes you got to have. And now they'll bring in another defensive back. Michael Gonzalez, a sophomore, will join Callan Hoing as real deep safeties yeah. right now. As they're about 12 yards off the line of scrimmage. Three down, actually two down guys and a couple linebackers coming at Marcel Blasting game. A lot of time. Rolls to his right. Still got time. Guy trying to guide traffic, and now we'll throw one, and that's going to be incomplete at about the 45-yard line. Good coverage that time by Curtis Putoff as they were looking for Blade Busher there, and that should be a three and out for the Cavalier offense. Yeah, it looks like they're going to bring on the punting squad. Big stand for the Redskins. That's exactly what you want. We've With six, six minutes to go before half, St. Henry going to look to try to put something up on the scoreboard. Justin Kopp will come in and punt it away for the Coldwater punt team. Kopp has not had a lot of opportunity to punt this year. If I wrote this down right, averaging just 26 yards a punt, but has not got a lot of opportunities. I'll have to check my notes later here. Right now, Kopp will punt this one away from about his 30-yard line. Kellen Hoyne's got a lot of respect for him back at the 20. So I may have some bad numbers on there. The punt is away by Kopp. Going to try to elude Hoing. It'll bounce it to 25 to the 20. And now Hoing will have to get away from it. And that's going to go down to about the four-yard line. That is a big-time pump from Justin Kopp. And with 5.47 left at halftime break, the Redskins about 95 and a half yards to go to try to get on the scoreboard. Yeah, that's going to be a tough task. They haven't really moved the football the best here in this first half. But right there for St. Henry on that 
punt. Ryan Worley, he was in there almost coming away with the block. Yeah, that was real close. You're yes. exactly right. So they mark it to the four-yard line. Henry, fourth possession of the first half, 20, 20, 29, and four. Real quick math, that's 60, 73. Uh, their average starting field position has been about the 18-yard yeah. line. Ooh. That makes it real difficult, Colt, against a Cavalier team that their average field position is about the 45 or 50 with that drive that started the 15-yard line. And now we got a timeout on the field. The Redskins will take a timeout. We'll take a break with them. It'll be an adjustment of the game. It's sponsored by Town & Country Compact against Sandra and Men. And when we return, Cavaliers, or I should say, the Redskins, first contender their own four on 96.7 the way. Redskins football first and ten at their own four-yard line. They'll toss it to Harrison Wendell. Trying to go around the left side, and he's going to pick up about two yards on first down. So I can see who knows dive in there. I think it uh, looked like Jack Ebbing was in there, the 5, 965-pound junior. Gives him uh, two more yards to play with, second down and eight. So second down and eight. All right, now we'll check and see what the Redskins offense want to do. you got to be a little bit careful trailing 13-0 right now. Yeah, you don't want to leave too much time on the clock for the Cavaliers. You don't want to run your plays too quickly. And you want to choose wisely because you don't want to have to give Coldwater a short field to try to put something up before the half. Logan Dehan now in the backfield with Curtis Putoff, who is just about on the goal line. Now he'll roll left. That's a quarterback sweep all the way, trying to cut back, and will go down after maybe a one-yard pickup. He was chased down there by Andrew Jones, a 6170-pound junior. And that's a pickup of maybe two. So back-to-back two-yard uh, plays brings up third down and a short six. Put off running the ball, as I said, a lot more than um, we anticipated. Yes. He ran once against Covington, but that was a 50 nothing win. Against Archibald in week two, six rushes. Five rushes against Ann and just two last week, and that set back to Parkway. So I had him for 14 rushes for 46 yards coming in. He's what, got a half a dozen today? Yep, he's got six for 23, according to the unofficial official stats that's, here. That's, that's official, absolutely. Right now, Curtis put off the quarterback. Third down and about five. Takes about a three-step drop out into the end zone. Ooh, nice Gets catch. it to Logan Dehan, who makes a nice catch, and that'll move the chains. Nice catch by Logan Dehan, like the play call, and it's first and ten Redskins. That's a big, big pickup. I was going to say the Cavaliers got through pretty easy, and you could see that screen set up. Nice catch by Dehan, and big first down for the Redskins. So first and ten Redskins. Still back in their own territory, but uh, have three more plays to move the chains again. Put off the quarterback. That's the junior signal color. Has senior Harrison Wendell to his right. Three receivers to the right, including a wingman. And you got Logan or Nolan Kunkler over here on the left side by himself. Put off rolling to the right. Looking downfield. Going to throw one up for grabs. And that's going to be incomplete right at the midfield stripe. Good thing about that pass if you're a Redskin fan. Beckman didn't get to it. But he was going to be the only guy that had a chance to catch that. Yeah, that's where you want to place that ball. And Hayden Beckman laid out for it. On the coverage back there for Coldwater, you did have uh, Braylon Harlemer, but he was kind of lost in no man's land trying to get back, so he didn't have a chance. That was a good little play. Try to take a shot if you're St. Henry with 3.49 to go. Now you got second and 10. Ball resting at your own 19-yard line. Coldwater with two timeouts left. Sanry with two timeouts left as well, I believe. Right now it'll be quarters put off the quarterback. Going to toss the ball to Harrison Wendell. Sweep right in. Just, well, he'll pick up maybe a yard, a hard-earned yard, by the way. As he had a host of Cavaliers, have seen Holman coming from the backside. That's Evan Holman. He was not the initial hit, though. I think the initial hit that time was Will Fox, another big senior up there at 6'2", 235. And now we got a third down and eight for the Redskin offense with 325 left till we take our halftime break. Yeah, you said it was a hard, hard-earned couple of yards right there for him. He did a little hurdle and a spin and fought forward for about two yards. Skins will break huddle. The big guys will go up on top of the football. Jacob Layfeld, 6'185 pound junior, will snap to Curtis, put off in that shotgun. Harrison Wendell in the backfield with him to the right. Got a couple receivers and combo formations on both sides. Put off dropping back. Got some pressure. Throws one up. He's got a target and incomplete. Harrison Wendell was wide open at the 40 yard line. Put some air under, not quite enough maybe. And that'll be an incomplete pass and a missed opportunity for the Redskin offense. Yeah, that's the second one there now. St. Henry, they had chances down the middle of the field, just overshot the intended receiver. And if St. Henry was able to connect on one of them, that they are probably gonna to be touchdowns because there's nobody else around them. Yeah, Wendell was wide open down the middle of the football yeah. field. 
And now Nolan Kunkler out the punter away from about his own five-yard line with A.J. Harlemer resting right inside Coldwater territory. We'll call it the 49-yard line. Snap will come back here at the 257 mark of quarter number two with Coldwater leading 13-0. High snap. Kunkler will get it away. Harlemer will come up and fair catch it inside Sanry territory at about the 48-yard line for the second time in four drive starters. The Redskins will have to play defense in their own territory. Coldwater first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Yeah, on the, on the downside for St. Henry, leaving Coldwater about three minutes to go. You know, in the years past Coldwater, they had that quick strike offense where if you left them about a minute, you know, they, you were in trouble. But you got about three minutes here. Coldwater could take their time. And let's see what Chip Otten and the boys decide to do on the positive side of the field. Harlemer and Dewar, that's A.J. Harlemer, combo to this side. You got Braylon Harlemer lined up as a wingman on the opposite side. The quarterback, Marcel Blassie, game two-step drop, looking for Harlemer on the other side. That's Evan Harlemer. It's going to probably pick up a first down as he's forced out of bounds there by Dominic Swartz. That's going to be a pickup of exactly 10. That will move the chains and maybe more importantly, stops the clock at the 243 mark. Yeah, yeah, they are going to move the chains. And it took them a second. They had the two flipped over there on the on the chain gang. And, yep, they're going to move them. So we will call it first and 10 at the Redskin 39-yard line, just inside that 39-yard line. Again, a combo to both sides for Marcel Blassingham. And Luke Sidoff, been the running back most of the evening, a 5'9", 205-pound senior to the left of Blassingham. Braylon Harmer in motion from left to right. And now a quarterback draw for Marcel Blassing game. And he's very close to another first down. Probably about a nine-yard pickup. Logan Dehan had some help that time as they unpile. Also Chase Lipner on the play. And that'll be another 10-yard pickup. And another moving of the chains at the 215 mark. Yeah, another big old run. I got Blassing game now. It's nine carries, 69 yards. Cavaliers moving the ball with 205 to go. This time the quarterback is blasting and they'll hand the ball off straight up the middle and now we got a penalty on the play or the play. The runner that time was Jack Ebbing, picked up about three yards, but we got a hold against Coldwater. Stops the clock at our two-minute warning here in quarter number two. And instead of second and seven, the Cavalier offense will move back 10 yards and they place the ball at the 40-yard line. So we'll call it now first down and 21 yards to go. Yep. First and 21 on the penalty. Redskins defensive front right now would include Christopher Berkey, Tate Layfelt, and Dustin Quinter up there. So three-man front against that Cavalier offensive That was front. our first penalty of the night too, there right? There wasn't very many, the, I know that. The Cavalier is one of the most penalized in the conference. They got 20 penalties on the season so far. Snap will come back to blasting game. He's got time. Now rolling to his left. Now he's under some pressure. Now going down the left sideline. Throws one up for grabs. Got Harlem right behind everybody. And that's a touchdown, Cavaliers. Braylon Harlemer from 40 yards out. Blasting game. Scrambles around. And for the second time tonight, those two guys hook up. This one from 40 yards out. And at the 131 mark of our second quarter, Coldwater now leading 19-0. Right there, the legs of Marcel Blassing game, able to keep that play alive. Able to have Harlemer just sneak behind the defense right in the end zone, falls on his back, makes the catch, and Cavaliers strike quickly. Three plays, 49 yards. Second time they completed tonight for Braylon Harlemer. That's his fifth touchdown of the season. For Marcel Blassing game, he's now thrown nine touchdown passes. And now they will go for from two, four two, excuse me. Marcel Blasting game rolling to his right. Still looking, got all kind of time. Now throws one up into the corner of the end zone, and that will be an incomplete pass. And the score will remain. Coldwater 19 and Sandry 0 on 96.7 the wave. Marcel Blasting game for the second time tonight. Teams up with Braylon Harlem to score a six-pointer on a pass play this time from 40 yards out. And a three-play drive that took just 49 set or a minute 19 off the clock, covered 49 yards. The extra point pass opportunity is incomplete. And Coldwater with a 19-nothing lead with 91 seconds left of the halftime break. Deep for the Cavalier or for the Redskins, Harrison Wendell and Logan Dehan. Justin Kalp now will kick it from east to west here. As we flip-flop sides here in quarter number two. Help will approach the football, and it is in the air. 
It'll be Logan Dehan. Actually, they'll let it go at, at the goal line. So the Redskins will start at the 20 for the third time in five outings here. So they have five drives tonight for Sander, three of them at the exact 20-yard line, another one at the 29-yard line, the other one at the four. So their average field position has been about the 19-yard line. Uh, that, that's real tough against uh, any type of defense. Yeah, it sure is. And when, you're, when you don't have that short field to work with, and again, here we're in that situation. you got a minute 31 to go. Say Henry's going to have to move the football because Colder still has two timeouts. I wouldn't be surprised if Chip Otten, he's going to be thinking, hey, if we can hold him here, get the ball back, we're going to try to put another one up on the board. We're going to find out here shortly what the Redskins decide to do with the football. Man in motion is Harrison Wendell. Instead, they'll get the ball off to Logan Dehan. He'll go straight up the middle and pick up about a half a dozen yards on first down. So Dehan will pick up a half a dozen yards. We'll check and see where he may be put down at. Getting up a little gimpy that time was one of the right guard, or the guard, Christopher Berkey, but it appears he'll be okay. And the Cavaliers will take a timeout, even though it was a seven-yard game, and we'll take a break with um, our timeouts, sponsored by Town and Country Coprack and Sandry and Menden. When we return, Sandry, second down in about three at their own 27-yard line on 96.7 away. Well, back to Wally Post Athletic Complex. The Redskins now second down and three. Even if you don't score here, Kyle, you, you keep the ball away from Coldwater and you get a first down here. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you just got about three yards to go. Put and up the quarterback. Wendell in the backfield with him. And now I think we got the Redskins moving, or maybe the Cavaliers may have been in the neutral zone before the Redskins moved. We'll find out here shortly. I think the far guy's saying offsides, and that'll be a second penalty against Coldwater. Yep. And the Redskins on the penalty will pick up the first down. For St. Henry, that's just their fourth first down of the night, if my numbers are right here. Had a first down on the first drive, first down on the third drive, one first down on the fourth drive, and now a penalty first down here on their fifth drive of the night. And now put off, will hand it to Harrison Wendell. Wendell straight up the middle, and he's going to run into a whole host of Cavaliers right at the point of attack. Now Chip Botten will call his last timeout. We've got a minute 17 left here in the quarter. We'll take another quick break. The timeout sponsored by Town & Country, Top Rackton, and Center in Menden on 96.7 away. Clinchern and Sons on, excuse me, we'll get that out. Clinchern and Sons on board tonight. San Henry Tile, Grand Lake Builder Supply, Burn Ready Mix, Minster Supply, and Wayne Builder Supply. Hometown Opportunity, People's Bank Company, Technical Roofing, James Investments, Layfeld Industrial and Welding Supplies, and wall -based Internet, TV, and Phone. Just a partial list of the gang on board. Right now, Coldwater leading 19-0. Redskins second and nine. Coldwater, no timeouts left. Uh, so the Redskins, I am not going to do the math here. Uh, if they don't pick up a first down and if they don't throw the ball, uh, if Coldwater gets the ball back, won't be a whole lot of time left. Yeah. There shouldn't be a lot of time left. That's what you would, you would hope if you're the St. Henry Redskins. Put off the quarterback. He'll send Harrison Wendell in motion. This will be a quarterback sweep to the left side. Put off cuts up and will go down. He'll be tackled by Andrew Jones at about the 34-yard line. But that will run some clock. And now they, they this will be third down. They will not. They could kneel on it here if they had to. They, they won't kneel on it, but they could and eliminate Coldwater from having a chance to uh, get a playoff. Yeah, you definitely want to try to put points up any time you can, but it looks like San Henry's going to take their time, at least run one more play. Maybe you can break something here. But with 45 seconds to go, you're just going to run it down 15 on the play clock. Yeah, that's a long field to go right now. So second or third down and about eight for the Redskin offense. No hurry at all to get to the line of scrimmage. In fact, I don't even think they're going to run a play. I think they're going to take a penalty and then probably a knee and head to the locker room. That would be unless they took a timeout. Time out. So the Redskins will take a timeout. We'll take a break with them as well. An adjustment of the game sponsored by Town & Country Cobrack and San Juan Men. And when we return, Redskins third and eight on 96.7 away. Twenty-nine seconds left to the halftime break. Coldwater, no timeouts left. Sandry one. I'd be really, really surprised if the Redskins would try to throw here. Yeah, I'd be shocked. Uh, like you said, I think they're probably most likely just going to take a knee and head on into halftime with the 
19 nothing score. Coldwater, they're going to play it safe. They're not going to have any funny business. It looks like they're going to put Harlemert uh, in the backfield deep at about the 40-yard line. Looks like a punt return Yeah, is what it looks like. Put off, Ooh. high snap, makes the play, and now he's going to cut back up, staying in bounds as he'll be chased down there by Andrew Jones. And more than likely, that's going to be our last play until we play the second half here. We'll find out here shortly. Clock says 17 seconds. Play clock says 38 seconds. Fourth down and about two. And the Redskins don't need that first down. Not going to do a lot good. Will they use that? Net? Coach Lutman actually talking right now to Steve Oren. Did they think about calling a timeout with one second ago? Not going to happen. We have reached halftime here at the Wally Post Athletic Lady Complex. A.J. Harmer and his brother Braylon Harmer back at about the 10-yard line are waiting the kick of Michael Gonzalez. Now, normally kicking off is Dustin uh, Quinter. Quinter got banged up a little bit in practice this week, I was told, before the game, so he will not be kicking. Gonzalez, who is their extra point kicker and their field goal kicker, will kick from the 40-yard line. We'll go from east to west to start half number two. Whistle blows. Gonzalez approaches the football, and let's play second half football. This will go back to Braylon Harlemer at about the 7 straight ahead to the 10. Harlemer to the 15, to the 20, to the 25, 30. That's A.J. Harlemer actually down the right sideline. Good go the distance. A.J. Harlemer, 93 yards. And the Coldwater Cavaliers at the 11.45 mark of quarter number 3 have taken a 25-0 lead. Well, that's one way to start off the second half if you're a Cavaliers fan. Harlemer with that burst of speed. I don't even know if he was touched. Just took off down that far sideline, able to bust it in. And as you said, 93 yards. And again, that's an unofficial number, but I think he started at the yeah. seven yard line, went from left to right, went right down the right sideline, the Cavalier sideline. And I think you hit the nail on the head there. It was not touched. And now Coldwater looks like it will go for two again, trying to catch up some points here. There they lead 19 to nothing the first time. The extra point hit the upright second time. Justin Kelp right through the middle. And on their third touchdown, an incomplete pass was a failed two-point conversion. And now another two-point opportunity here with Marcel Blassing game, the quarterback. Evan Harlan lined up to the left side. Now man in motion is Braylon Harmon. They're going to fake to him. Blassing game trying to break containment, looking down into the end zone, and that's going to be caught for two points. Check the name and number down there, and I can, oh, that's A.J. Harlemer, who just ran back the kickoff. So the two-point will go from Marcel Blassing game to A.J. Harlemer. And with 11.45 left to our third quarter break, it is now Coldwater 27, San Zero on 96.7, the Wave. Kyle took 15 seconds for the Coldwater Cavaliers to add on the 19 nothing advantage. That's uh, eight more points than we had in the second half last year in this matchup when Senator won 21-14. Now Justin Kopp will kick it away from right to left on the dial. This will be Logan Dehan catching it at about the, we'll call it the four-yard line, to the 10, 15, 20, 25, and goes down at about the 26-yard line. As he'll be tackled there on special teams by Miles Potcutter again, 5'11", 145-pound and that's where the Redskins will start their first drive of the second half, now trailing 27-0. They have not marked the ball yet, I think about the 24 or 25-yard line, and now they will put it at the 25-yard line. So first and 10 Redskins at the 25 with 11.35 left in the third period. Yeah, Dehan, he was looking to try to get up through the middle right there, and he ended up running into his, his own blocker, Adam Frank, the, the junior out there. Hit him on the side, and that slowed him down. That allowed Potcutter to make the tackle. Put off the quarterback. Got a running back to both sides at the present time. In that shotgun, sends Wendell in motion from right to left. Throws it to the opposite side to Nolan Cookler, an incomplete. And Braylon Harman took a beat on that one and just about intercepted the put off toss over there. Yeah, that was, he was, Harlemert was all over that. That was a nice play by Braylon Harlemert diving right in there. That would have been one heck of an interception if you could have came up with that. It's now 11 and a half minutes left in our third period. 19 nothing at halftime, but an A.J. Harlemert 93-yard kickoff return to start quarter number three. The two-point conversion from blasting game to A.J. Harlemert makes it 27 nothing. 
Now Curtis Puddle, I think the first time he's been under center all night long. He'll fake the ball. He'll actually roll right. Going to throw a screen to the left. It's open. Harrison Wendell makes the catch. He's in the 30, 35. Going down the left sideline. Could go the distance. It's going to be chased down by Aaron Harmon. He'll break a tackle and go down to about the 12-yard line. Harrison Wendell, great play call. Put off, rolled right. Cavaliers came this way. Had a big wall in front of him. And with 11-15, Left in quarter number three, the Redskins in the red zone for the first time tonight. Yeah, mark that down. I think I got it for 63 yards. 63 yards, every bit of that exactly right. So we'll mark it at the 12-yard line, first and 10 Redskins in the red zone. Again, that's the first time put up was under center all night long. He'll go back to his traditional shotgun position now. Harrison Wendell to the right side of the motion. The, the best part about that screen, you had Quinter all the way up at the midfield, the big man all the way up making a block. And now they'll get the ball to Chase Lipmer on a little counter around, jumps over a couple would-be tacklers and goes down to about the eight-yard line. Nice hard run there for Chase Lipmer. He'll be tackled. That initial hit was Jack Ebbing. He had a bunch of help. It looked like Evan Holman over there as well as Sam Obringer. But that's a good pickup on first. Actually, Oh, it was a bigger pickup than that, but they'll just give him three yards. It appeared initially that it was about a five-yard pickup. Yeah, that was a hard fault one. St. Henry definitely, they're not going to be giving up in this second half at all. That, that last screen pass, that was the first completion for put-off in his last three attempts. Wendell and Dehan in the backfield, one on each side, and now they'll put Wendell in motion. They'll give the ball to Dehan. He's going to go straight up the middle and will fall forward for about a two-yard pickup. No doubt the Redskins in four-down territory if needed. Back-to-back -back running plays will pick up about half of what they need to move the chains. And we'll call it down third and a long five at the Cavaliers' seven-yard line. Third and five for the Redskins. And again, no doubt that they're in four-down territory at the present time with 9.50 left in the third period, trailing the Cavaliers 27-0. I'd have to agree with you there, Ron, on that one. So, St. Henry, they're definitely going to be trying to put, put the ball in the end zone. They're, they've been... Bullnosing it right down so far. That, that screen play, that was a huge play. They set up Coldwater perfectly. They saw something at halftime, and that's what they went with. Going in back, Ben Combo, left side of the formation. Nolan Kunkler, long receiver to the right. Now Harrison Wendell in motion. He'll go to the left. They'll look into the end zone. Has Nolan Kunkler, and it's going to be incomplete. As Kunkler ran into double coverage there, Evan Harlemert was in on the play. Also on the defense that time was uh, Mason Welch, I think. Looked like number 14 back there. And Actually, I think that was I think 17, might be 17, Seth Stewart. Seth Stewart, he's having bad luck with me tonight. He's made some <laughs> plays, and I, I'm seeing wrong numbers. That's all right. Now, I'll tell you, Curtis put off. That was probably the best pass he's had all night. That was right there on the money. Put it right on the numbers on Nolan Kunkler. He's just got to bring that in. The St. Henry, they needed that play. Fourth down now and a long five for the Redskin offense at the Cavaliers. 7 9 21 left in the third period. 27 nothing. Put off rolling to his left. Looking into the end zone, and it's going to be caught. Touchdown, St. Henry. Harrison Wendell, I believe. I, it's right in the far corner there. But I think it was Wendell. Will I confirm that? They're coming this way. Are they saying Harrison Wendell? They are yeah. saying Harrison Wendell. Yep. I could not see in that far corner. So Curtis put off to Harrison Wendell, seven yards out, and the Redskins on the board. That's exactly what St. Henry needed to answer after that opening kickoff return for Coldwater. Now St. Henry faithful. They're, they're on their feet. They're making some noise and expect St. Henry to probably try to do a little bit of trickery coming up later on here in this game to keep things going. The extra point by Michael Gonzalez right through the middle. 9 to 13 left here in period three. It's Coldwater 27, St. Henry 7 on 96.7 the way. Harrison Wendell's fourth touchdown of the season. Two on the ground, two in the air for Curtis Putoff. That is just his second touchdown pass of the season, but a big one. And the score now, 27-7, as the Redskins will kick off with Michael Gonzalez. Last time he did this, A.J. Harlemer went 93 yards. This time it'll be more of a squib kick, and it'll be Braylon Harlemer feeling it on the other side to the 10, 15, 20, down the right sideline, and will be forced out of bounds right near the 30-yard line. The Redskins special teams make things happen there. And on the play was Tyler Sweetman, 5'10", 165-pound senior. And that's where Coldwater will start their realistically first offensive drive of the second half. Yeah, the Cavaliers 
As you said, took that opening second half kickoff to the end zone. They're up 20, 27, seven right now with nine minutes to go. And don't look for Coldwater to slow up either. They will mark this ball at the 30 yard line. So the Cavaliers first and 10 at their own 30. Marcel blasting game will send Evan Harlemer and Braylon Harlemer to the left side of the formation. Right side, you got A.J. Harlemer and also I think it's Justin Kalp over there. We'll check and see. Now Coldwater are gonna take a timeout. We will take a break as well. We got an adjustment of the game sponsored by Town & Country Cobracking and Sandrine Men. And it's Coldwater 27, Sandrine 7 on 96.7 The Wave. Shockman Lumber Company on board tonight. Cooper Farms, NER Flooring and Home Decorating, Tom's Construction, McDonald's, Joint Township Hospital, Grand Lake Health System, Hometown, Lambs Insurance Agency, Carriage Works, Busher Custom Farm Services Incorporated, Coldwater Lumber Company, Mercer Health, and Pax Machine Works. We are ready to continue football action after the Cavalier timeout. First and 10, Cavs at the 30. Marcel Blassing game, fakes the ball to Sudolf, goes straight up the middle, and Blassing game will be forced down by Dominic Swartz and Chase Lipmer right at the point to gain. That'll be a 10-yard pickup, first and 10 Cavaliers. And that was a nice job by Blassing game. He had the ball buried in the belly, pulled it out, took it off, and yeah, they're gonna say first down right at the 40. Big 10-yard ten pick, ten pickup for Blassing game. Not a big surprise, 64 carries coming in for 605 yards while stood off and ebbing 39 together. Right now, Blassing game will peek over to Chip Otten and the gang and relay it to the big guys up front. Braden Klossman, Shane Ontrup, Evan Holman, Will Fox, and Kale Wenning, the center. Trips to the left this time. Justin Kalp over here along with AJ or Braylon Harlemer and Evan Harlemer. Snap will come back. They'll fake the suit off again. Looking downfield, still looking downfield is Blasting Game. Got a hold on the play. Blasting Game will roll right. He'll throw one up, and it's going to be caught, but I think that's going to go for naught. AJ Harlemer caught it inside Redskin territory at about the 37 yard line. But where that flag is down, that's going to be holding. And Matt, I'm going to give my big gripe yep. here right, as yep. they got the holding will be a spot foul. So it turns into a 15-yard penalty, no more, or even just as much as a personal foul. You're right. I know. I, I know how you are with, <laughs> with yeah, this foul. I, I don't quite. Under, I don't quite understand it either. How how it's a spot foul, but you know that's kind of like the uh, the defensive. Uh, Holding or whatever, a five-yard penalty, but it's an automatic first down in the NFL, you know, even no matter. Well, why is it got to be an automatic, you know? Don't quite get that either. So it'll be first and long for the Cavaliers. Ball marked back at the 25-yard line. They need to get to the midfield strap. Yep. So first and 25. Got eight minutes left in quarter number three. It's Coldwater 27, Sanry 7. Luke sit off in motion from right to left. I thought he maybe left early there. Blasting game will follow him off a right guard. And maybe it picked up two yards at the most. Redskin defense win that battle. And first and 25 after a two-yard pickup turns into second and 23. And Coldwater going to be a little conservative the way it is there after that play call. Got second down and long. And when you're getting pushed back into your own end zone, St. Henry defense, they got to be happy with the way things are shaping out right now, especially the way they move the football in that last drive. Yeah, a little momentum for the Redskins yeah. right now. No doubt about that here on their home field. A.J. Harlemert, lone receiver to the right side of the formation. This time it's Jack Ebbing in the backfield with quarterback Miles or Marcel Blassingham, excuse me. Blassingham, a two-step drop, looking downfield, and he'll overthrow Braylon Harlemert. And if Braylon Harlemert catches that, he's going to get banged pretty good by Kellen Hoing, I believe. Yeah, if, if he come, pulls that in, right there was Hoing waiting on him, but that's just one of them plays you got to hope <laughs> Hope it all works out right for everybody involved. Yeah, timing pattern that was not timed as well as they would like. Let's say it that way. So it brings up third down in about 23. Sanry scored the last touchdown on a Curtis put off to Harrison Wendell, seven yards out from the on fourth down. Next point by Michael Gonzalez cut the Redskin deficit to 27-7. Now running in is Blade Busher, 6'155 pound senior. He'll line up to the right side of the formation. Well, you got Justin Kalp splitting the Harlemet boys here on the opposite side. A.J. Harlemet on the right side. Blasting game drops back. He's got some time now in a little bit of trouble. He'll dodge a couple would-be tacklers, and now he's going to run the football. He's going to get up to the 40, to the 45. Uh -oh. Comes our way and may pick up a first down will. He's to the wow. 45, the 40, down to about the 33-yard line. And that's just making a play there, Marcel Blasting game. Third down and 23. He's going to pick up about... 
35 or 40. I'm letting Kyle do the math, but it's first and 10 Cavaliers. Why do you got to let me do the math? You, really, you told me you're pretty good at it. They started at, it was at the 27. 23-yard line. So 27 to the midfield stripe, right? Yep. 37, 40, 43 yards? 43, yep. 43 yard pickup on third down and 27, and that was all Marcel Blassing game. Wow. Luke Sudolf now in the backfield with Blassing game. Trips to the right. Lone receiver to the left is Evan Harlan. They'll give it to Sudolf off right tackle, and Sudolf's best run of the night going to pick up a first down. Yes, he'll pick up 11, if not 12, on the play. Yes, he'll be tackled that time. Looked like uh, Ryan Worley. And on the play, no, that was uh, Logan Dehan actually that came in and made the Redskin defensive play. Dehan, a 5'10", 175 pound junior, but he uh, was tested on that one as Sudolf, a bowling ball at 5'9", 205 pounds. Yeah, Sudolf finally starting to get a lot more carries here as the year goes on, coming off of that ACL injury. So they're working him more and more on that offensive side are the Cavaliers, and that was a good strong run by the senior. And now Jack Ebbing back in the football game. He'll spell Sudolf at least for a play. Combo to both sides for Marcel Blassingame. And now Blassingame fakes it to Depway, or it's Depway, and then he'll be down at about the 27 yard line. Dominic Swartz in on the tackle, almost a horse collar tackle, or really close to that. As Blassingame went down uh, kind of awkwardly there. Mm -hmm. And I think he's asking Steve Warren, hey, did he uh, tackle me legally there? So that'll be a pickup of four. Let's call it second and six. So second and six for the Cavalier. Offense, 5.50 left to the third quarter break. They've taken off about three minutes on this drive already. Exactly what you want to do when you lead 27-7 here at the Wally Post Athletic Complex. Harlemer, Harlemer, and Justin Kalp to the right side. Evan Harlemer to the left side. Sit off in the backfield. And now we got a flag on the play. The Redskins may have got into the neutral zone. We'll find out here shortly, and they did. Had a couple guys jump in there. It was more than one that jumped there. So maybe a hard count there. So that'll be five yards and should bring up a second down and one. Yeah, a little short one for the Cavaliers coming up right at about the 13-yard line. So the Cavaliers in the red zone yet again with a 27-7 advantage. This is a Cavalier team that averages 38.3 game, gives up 9.3. A.J. and Braylon Harmon combo to the right side. Evan Harmon to the left. Got a wingman on the right side and sit off in the backfield. They'll give it to sit off off right tackle inside the 10. And he's got another red Cavalier first down. Down to about the seven yard line. Zayn Pyle there kind of peeking on the back side there. Look like Chase Littmer in on the play. Littmer had some help from Harrison Wendell, the two linebackers. But now approaching the five minute mark, it's the Cavaliers first and goal at the eight yard line. Cavaliers knocking on the door, looking to put up, answer that St. Henry touchdown drive. So we'll check here shortly. First and 10. Blasting game in the shotgun as normal. Sit off in the backfield. They'll fake it. Actually give it a sit off this side. Across the right side again. Inside the five. Or at least right at the five. We'll bring up second and goal from right at that spot. Chase Lipmer again in on the play for the Redskins. Nolan Kunkler had some uh, assists there. So now the Cavaliers second down and five. Clock continues to run. Just four and a half minutes left here in this third period. Two, four, six, eight. This will be the ninth play of this drive. That started back at the 30-yard line. So passing game will send the big guys up front. He'll send A.J. Harlemer to the right side of the formation, Braylon Harlemer and Evan Harlemer to the left side of the formation. Got Kalp lined up as a wingman on the left side, and that's which way blasting game is cut. And he'll cut back up, and we'll get inside the five down to about the... One yard line, just about scored on the play. Whole host of Redskins put him down at that spot. Looked like Christopher Berkey was the main culprit there putting him down, or actually Nicholas Berkey, 6'3", 190 pound junior. And now it's third and goal from, a, what, about the six inch line, it looks like from here? Oh yeah, it's not, not very far, that's for sure. Not very far, yeah. I don't know if you could put a whole ace of spades in between that tip of the football and the goal line. It'll be, in the backfield, two running backs, Luke Sudoff and Jack Ebbing with quarterback Marcel Blassingame. Blassingame's going to give the ball to Sudoff, and he's in the end zone. One-yard run for Luke Sudoff, and the Coatter Cavaliers have added on to their advantage. They now lead 33-7 with 3.20 left in the third period. That was a nice drive by the Cavaliers. As you said, a handful of plays chewing up some clock. That big run coming from Marcel Blassingame on that third and long 
He took it for 43 yards. Blasting game, 14 carries, 132 yards so far with a touchdown. Yeah, 10 plays, 70 yards on that drive. Took five minutes and 47 seconds off the clock. And now Justin Kalp will try to add on to that 33-7 advantage for Goat. As the Cavaliers break huddle and they'll line up at the spot there. Snapping the ball for the Coarter Cavaliers. Miles Potgutter, the 5'11", 145-pound sophomore. Holding will be Evan Harlemert, and kicking it will be Justin Kalp. Snap back, hold down, kick up, and that's got a whole lot of distance to it, and it is good. So the extra point good. It's Coldwater 34, and Sandry 7 on 96.7 the way. Luke sit off with his second touchdown run of the season. This from one yard out, realistically about six inches <laughs> out. The extra point by Justin Kalp ends a 10-play drive, and Coldwater now ahead 34-7 with 3.20 left in our third period. And now Kalp will kick it away from right to left on the dial. It'll be Logan Dehan watching it bounce at about the five, and it's going to go out of bounds. And the Redskins will have their best field position of the night by far. Here are their drives, 20, 20, 29, 4, 20, and 25. And now finally up across the 30-yard line. Yeah, this is going to be a good spot. We were kind of talking about it off air. Big plays are not really in St. Henry's offensive repertoire. And even though you had that long uh, screen play in there that they had that set up their touchdown run in that last drive for them, but, you know, they want to run the ball, pound it, and, and take chunks of plays. And we'll have to see how they can manage this here to answer the Cavaliers trail on 34-7. Pull off, going to go under center to be the center. Jacob Layfell giving the football with an eye formation. Wendell, the feature back, and now they'll send a man in motion is Kellen Hoing. They'll toss the ball to follow Hoing around that left side. Wendell cuts back and picks up about five yards on first down. Where he's tackled at that spot in on the play. Isaac Schreer, 6'1", 185-pound senior in on the play. And that'll pick up a five, brings up second and five. And a nice little chunk on that first play. And right here, this second down, you got to keep the ball moving forward if you're St. Henry. You got to keep building confidence, keep that momentum going. Beckman on one side, Cookler on the other. Eye backs again behind quarterback Curtis Putoff under center for the second play in a row. And he fumbled Fumble. the snap, and we'll have to check and see who may have came up with that. So the snap was fumbled. I think the Redskins got on it. They're not stopping the clock. That indicates that they think that the Coldwater Cavalier, or the St. Henry Redskins got it. The clock will continue to run yet. Now the Cavaliers, actually the Cavaliers got it. Wow. I thought the clock was continuing to run there. It did not happen. So the fumbled snap, that is our first turnover of the game, isn't it? Yeah. I think first turnover. So the Coldwater Cavaliers, again, this will be their third drive tonight. That starts in plus territory. This will be the 40-yard line. And with 235 left in period number three, Cavaliers first and 10 at the Redskin 40, leading 34-7. Yeah, I'm not real sure who came up with that ball. I thought it, I thought it was 78. And they're talking and about, I, meant, I heard him mention Will Fox over there, but I'm not sure. I was going to say, yeah, that, that would make a little bit more sense. I, I did not see who got it. I'm going to, that, that's a real tough call yeah. for us. Right now, Evan Harleman, the lone receiver, left side of formation. They got a bunch formation for the first time tonight on that right side. Quarterback Marcel Blassing game going to stick it in Sudos belly again. He's got five, and he's going to go down after about a six-yard pickup. Took a pretty good hit that time from Logan Dehan, who came in late. The initial hit, by, hit was uh, Chase Littmer, but the Sudoff run's going to pick up actually seven, and we'll call it second and a long three. So Sudoff's getting the ball a little bit right now. And they're finding some holes up there. Yeah, 10 carries, 36 yards. He's really not going to He's not gonna break away with speed on you. He, he's looking to make some contact with somebody whenever he has the ball. Kale winning the center. The guards, Braden Klosterman and Shane Ontrup, Evan Holman and Will Fox manning the tackle spots here this evening. Evan Harleman about far left as he can be without being in the Redskin bench. Two running backs in the backfield. Again, they'll give it to Sudoff. Sudoff straight up the middle, runs into Harrison Wendell right at the spot to gain. Got to be really close to a first down. They're not stopping the clock. That would probably indicate that we got a third down and extremely short coming up. Two sit-off runs going to pick up about nine and three-fourths yards. And this is about where they had the, the, the distance they needed to score a touchdown not too long ago. Yep, just about six inches or so. And Coldwater, like you said, they're really putting the ball in the belly of Luke Sutoff as he's coming off the field here. 
And they will put Depwig in the back, or excuse me, Jack Ebbing, 5'9", 165-pound junior back there. And now a bunch formation to the left. Again, we didn't see any bunch formations back in that first half. Snap will come back there. He will give it off to Ebbing, and he's going to pick up a first down inside the 25 to about the 24-yard line. Bottom of that tackle again was Harrison Wendell, I believe. I got a peek at that number. No, it's Kellen Hoing, the 18 instead of the 28, coming up and make the play. But that will move the chains with just 60 seconds left in our third period. First and 10 calves at the Redskin 25-yard line. Nice little pick up by Jack Ebbing, six yards on his first carry. Another right. third down conversion. Cavaliers have been good on third down tonight. A little bit easier when it's third and a half a yard. Yeah, it makes, it makes a difference. But they also made a third and 23 on their last drive. Now blasting game has a running back on both sides. Sit off to his left, ebbing to his right. And they're going to give the ball. Actually, Barcel blasting game is going to keep the football, trying to break containment. And Dominic Schwartz makes a great play out there. That's a one-on-one -on -one tackle by the junior linebacker. And blasting game is going to break even on that play. And you don't see that very often when Marcel blasting game tries to get outside. No, you don't. That's his 15th carry right there. He's got 132 yards still. Yeah, coming in, he had 64, divide that by four. That's what, about 15, 16 a game, I think. So nearing his average right now. That will end quarter number three here. The score, Coldwater 34, San Henry 7. When we return, we'll play quarter four on 96.7 away. Welcome back to the Wally Post Athletic Complex. Cavaliers second and 10. Last game, looks to throw the ball. He's got a target called by A.J. Harlemer, and he'll go down inside the 15, about the 14-yard line. And this will hit that time. Hayden Beckman had some help from Chase Lipmer. That'll pick up about eight yards. We'll check and see the official marker, seven or eight yards, whatever Kyle puts down. And it comes to third and two for the Cavalier offense. I'm going to put her down for eight yards. So the clock running, 11.35 left in the football game. Coldwater trying to pick up their fifth straight win of the 2022 campaign, leading 34 to 7. The wonder, number one team in Division 5, according to pollsters. Now Braylon Harlemer and Evan Harlemer combo to the left side of the formation. To the right side, you got Justin Kalp and A.J. Harlemer. And now in the backfield is Marcel Blassing game. He's going to do some dancing. He's to the 10, inside the 5, and down to about the three yard line. And that's where the Cavaliers will have it first and goal. Hayden Beckman in on the tackle. But the Cavaliers inside the five, first and goal on the blasting game run. So Marcel blasting game continues to get it done. So four tries from the three-yard line to try to add on to a 34-7 advantage. And now they'll bring Luke Sidoff back into the football game. He'll replace Jack Ebbing. Now actually Ebbing's going to stay in. They're going to replace one of the wide receivers, I would guess. It'll be Braylon Harmon heading to Chip Otten sideline. Play clock says nine seconds. They're going to need a timeout here, I think. That's exactly what's going to happen. Coach Otten says let's yep. let it run down to about one second, and then we'll call a timeout. We'll take a break with them. we got an adjustment of the game, sponsored by Town & Country Compracting and San Henry Men. And when we return, Coldwater leading 34-7, first and goal from the Redskin 3 on 96.7 the wave. Welcome back to Wally Post Athletic Complex. Coldwater 34, San Henry 7, 10, 37 left in the football game. And when we rejoin play here after the Cavalier timeout, the second Cavalier timeout here in the second half, it'll be first and goal from the four-yard line. They mark that at the four, I apologize. So the four-yard line here as the Cavaliers will come out. Redskin defensive front, Dustin Quinter out there, Tate Layfeld. Trying to peek on this opposite side. I think that's Christopher Berkey on the opposite side. Nolan Kunkler also at the line of scrimmage. And the linebacker, or actually that's Aiden Brunswick out there, wearing the 61, Quinter wearing the 77. This is an unbalanced line to the right for the Coldwater Cavaliers. They'll get the ball off, and that's going to be about a one-yard pickup for Jack Ebbing as they ran into a wall there. Tate Layfeld, maybe the initial hit, as they did a good job at the line of scrimmage. Also in there was... 32, that's Michael, or excuse me, Logan Dehan, 5'10", 175-pound junior. Pick up of one, and now we'll actually pick up about two or three. What are they marking that at? Two-yard yep. line, so a two-yard pickup. We'll bring up second and goal from the two-yard line. Yeah, you, there was no guessing on which way that ball was going to go there on that last play. They, Like you said, unbalanced line. They had it heavy onto that right side. Goldwater trying to go in there. Nice job by St. Henry defensively. 
This was unbalanced to the opposite side, nope. I believe, to the left side. Last in game with two running backs in the backfield. They'll give the ball to Luke Sudoff. Sudoff's going to make it to about the one-yard line as Nolan Cookler came up and made a nice defensive play right at the one. And now the Cavaliers have it uh, third and goal inside the one-yard line. Yeah, that was a nice one-on-one -on -one tackle by Kunkler. That's a tough task to do against Luke Sudoff there. Yeah, 5'9", 205, and almost looks like he's playing bigger than that yeah. out there. I mean, he's, he's got a thick body out there. And I mean that as a compliment, by the way. Right now, it'll be Ebbing heading to the sideline. They'll bring Braylon Harmer back in, kind of spread things out here a little bit. So Sudoff, the running back to the right of quarterback Marcel Blassing game. It'll be Kale Winning snapping the football here shortly. And they'll give the ball off to sit up, and he'll go into the – I thought he got in. Yes, he did yep. get in the end zone. That'll be a touchdown, Coldwater. One-yard run, the second of the night for Luke Sudoff. Sudoff's got two touchdown runs. I think if you add them together, probably about 32 inches. <laughs> yeah. That would be my guess. Yeah, you're, you're about right on that one. That would be a nine-play drive. That covers just 40 yards. And with 9.04 left in the football game, the Cavaliers have taken a 40-7 to lead. Yeah, that was just a good ground and pound drive there by the Cavaliers, able to push it in across the end zone, and I think that's going to get it to that running clock. Mark. Absolutely, 5:39 taken off the clock. That's almost a yeah. that's a second drive that ended up about a half a quarter's worth. Evan Harlemer will hold. Justin Kalp will kick. Snap is down. The kick is up, and Justin Kalp's extra point is good. Coldwater 41, Henry seven on 96.7 the wave. Nine oh four left in the football game. We'll get the running clock. Nine plays, forty yards to five thirty-nine off the clock. Luke Sidoff's third touchdown run of the season, second tonight. The Justin Kalp extra point makes it forty-one-seven in favor of the visitors from Coldwater. Now Justin Kalp will kick it off again with the running clock. Logan Dehan and Harrison Wendell will rest back at about the five-yard line. Ryan Worley and also up front there for the Redskins is Chase Lipmer. Those guys are in the second row there. Kellen Hoing and Aiden Beckman in that third row if we're from back to front, by the way. And now Justin Kalp will kick from left to right or from east to west. 41-7 at Vanny's Coldwater right now. As now the clock will start. At the, and we'll see if Kalp waits. He's not going to. He's going to kick it with about 20 seconds to go. So the kick is away. Dehan will catch it about the 5-yard line to the 10, to the 15, up to the 20, 25, and goes down near the 30-yard line. Good return. Logan Dehan just straight ahead. And that's where the Redskins will start this drive at about the 30-yard line with 8.43 left in the football game. Again, it'll be the running clock, so it will spin no matter what happens except the change of possession. So mark this at the 30-yard line. John Derryberry with the white hat says start that clock, and we now have 8.29 left in the football game. As the Redskins huddle around head coach Brad Lukeman in the gang. We're just put off or bring him out. And the center will be Jacob Layfeld. He'll go find the football. At front line, Jacob Layfeld, Nick Berkey, Christopher Berkey, Dustin Quinter, and Drew Swederman. Those are the big guys up front for the red and white, the home team. Got a combo to one side of the formation. Lone receiver to the left. And now the snap to Curtis put off. It's going to be handed off to Logan Dehan, and he's going to pick up 11 hard yards there. So he'll be tackled in the defensive backfield there. So I can see again some new uh, youngsters in there. Mason Welch. I knew he was going to make a play sooner or later. Six foot 165 pounds. Sophomore in on that play, wearing the number 14. Yeah, that was a good strong run, and and it almost looked like Dehan knew that, and he was going up against uh, some of the replacements out there for the Cavaliers. He lowered his shoulder and he took him over for a first down. Tyler Sweeterman into the football game. He will join Kellen Hoing and combo left side of the formation. Nolan Kunkler to the opposite side. Running back on each side for quarterback Curtis Putoff right now. Snap will come back here at the 723 mark. Now Putoff will give it to Harrison Wendell. Wendell up the middle, and he will ride himself up to about the 45-yard line. He'll be down there by, again, some new numbers in here. That was Miles Potcutter. We mentioned him a few times on special teams tonight. 5'11", 145-pound sophomore. Pick up a five, second down and five. Now Dustin Quinter's night may be done as well. Trailing 41-7. Got a banged up knee to some degree at least. So they got a new offensive tackle in there. I think that's Aiden Feltz out there. Feltz a senior at 6'2", 300 pounds. 
This time Nolan Kunker split the left side of the formation. Combo to the right side is Hoing and Sweeterman. And now Harrison Wendell goes in motion out in the right flat. Put off will find him, and he will run that up to about the 47-yard line. And the Redskins will look at a third down after that pass completion. And got a flag there on the far side. Flag, and the clock continues to run with the flag, too. I'm not sure what the clock The clock has yeah, stopped for some reason. 6.28 left in the football game. I think uh, running clock, they go with the flag, don't they? Yep. Yeah, and John Derryberry says, get that thing moving there. So we got a hold call, so the Wendell pitch and catch from Curtis Putoff will be wiped off the board, and now the Redskins look at second down. And about 17 to go, ball resting at the 34-yard line of San Henry. They need to get into Coldwater territory to the 49. Coldwater leading 41-7 here. Cavaliers next week host Parkway. Well, the Redskins will go on the road over to Alglaze County and take on Seth Whiting's Mr. Wildcats. Trips to the left this time for Curtis Putoff. Putoff's going to take about a three-step drop. Looking back, looking back, going to throw a long one. Down, up, and incomplete Ooh. as Cookler unable to grab that one as he's being defended that time by Gavin Zabrita. Zabrita, a 5, 155-pound junior. Am I saying that correct, Zabrita? Yep, you Thank got you her. very much. My first time covering co-owner this year. And that incomplete pass will allow the clock to continue to run, though, with the running clock. And it will be third down in about 17. So Redskins will break cuddle with that third down approaching them. Sweeterman, Harrison Wendell, and Michael Gonzalez trips to the left. And a lone receiver to the right, Nolan Kunkler. Man in the backfield, Logan Dehan. Then now Curtis Putoff rolls to his left. Looking downfield, has got a target, and that's going to be incomplete to Harrison Wendell. As he was dislodged there at about the 45-yard line by John Molenkamp, 6'165 165-pound senior. And now it'll bring up a fourth down and 17. And the Redskins will have to punt the football away at the 455 mark of our fourth and final period here. So Nolan Cooker should come back in. Going deep will be Evan Harlemert instead of A.J. Harlemert. A.J. Harlemert's been back there most of the evening. And Nolan Cookler will punt this one away from about his own 20-yard line. I don't think the Cavaliers will do anything fancy here. Just let him punt it away. Leading 41-7. Snap is back. Cookler will punt this one away. That's a line drive. Evan Harlemert will come up and make the catch at about the 36-yard line. As he actually runs into one of his own men back there. That was uh, Mason Klossman back there doing some blocking. And that's where the Coatter Cavaliers will start maybe their last drive of the night. 422 left in the football game. Coatter first and 10 at their own. They mark it at the 40-yard line. Oh, no, 35. 35-yard line, excuse me. So the 35-yard line. Again, we got the running clock going right now. It's a 41-7 Cavalier advantage. Cavaliers trying to avenge last year's loss. Henry won 21-14 as both teams were shut out in quarters three and four last year. And we might see a new quarterback here, I would guess. Braylon Harlem at the quarterback now. New offensive lineman up there, too. So we're seeing some new guys out there. So Braylon Harlem now the quarterback. He will hand that ball off, and that's going to be a one-yard gain that time for, let's say, 27. I do not I, have a 27. I could 27. see that. They're 37. 37, that thank sounds, you very much. Well, I have a 37. Mason Link, 5'955 pound junior. So Mason Link with the run. He'll pick up one yard, and it'll bring up now second down and nine for the Cavalier offense at their own 36-yard line. Clock continues to spin. Three and a half minutes left in the football game. And now they'll put trips to the right side of the formation. Braylon Hardeman, the quarterback. And Mason Link, the running back. They'll give it to Link again, and he's in a whole lot. Actually going to break containment to the 40, 45, and forced out of bounds right near the midfield stripe. Looked like they had him in the backfield there. So that will be a first down for the Cavalier offense at the their own 49-yard line. Yeah, nice run right there by Link. Can't yeah. beat that one. I did not check my – I got my stat sheet in here. I was going to check and see uh, how many carries that he may have on this season. As again there, Mason Link, uh, three carries coming into the night. And two here in this quarter. 2.45 left in the football game. Trip still left this time. Short side, Braylon Harlem at the quarterback. I don't think Link's in there anymore. We've got a different running back in there, and we do. And that'll be a pickup of nothing. That running back is Grady Sutton, 5'860 pound senior. As Redskins tackle that time. Looks like Christopher Berkey, or excuse me, Aiden. Brunswick had some help that time by 
Brody Swartz. So Brody Swartz, a 6'165 pound sophomore playing some linebacker right now. Jacob Immel, Aiden Feltz, and Aiden Brunswick, the three down guys for the red and white. Second down and 10. We'll call that a break even play at their own 49 yard line with just two minutes left in the football game. Snap is back. Harlem are going to throw the football. It's going to be tipped at the line of scrimmage. That looked like check and see. Again, on the far side, did not get to see that. Nate Busher, baby, 6'170 pound junior. Looked like 21 with the tip. And the clock would stop, but it's not going to. Just a minute 40 left in the football game. Third down and 10 in their own territory for the, for the Cavaliers. As Braylon Harmon will share some information with the big guys up front. They will break huddle, and the Cavaliers will run a play. 41-7 at the present time. Cavaliers going to go to 5-0 in the campaign. 3-0 in MAC, the number one team in D5. Redskins going to fall to 1-4, and 0-3 oh and in MAC play. Now they will hand the ball straight up the middle that time. Running the football was Grady Sutton again. Ran into a whole bunch of Redskins there at the point of attack. Adam Frank, one of those guys, 6'193-pound junior in on the play. Had some help from Aiden Brunswick. Brunswick, a senior. That goes 6'6", six, six, I think, or 6'5", and 232. And now the Cavaliers will go on it on, for it on fourth down in Redskin territory at the 47-yard line. Less than a minute to go, just 53 seconds left. That running, running clock gets going pretty fast, doesn't it? Yeah. It just spins and spins. Quarterback again is Braylon Harlemert in the backfield. We believe it's Grady Sutton yet. Well, yeah, it is Sutton. They'll toss the ball to Sutton. Trying to get around the left side. Sutton is going to be forced out of bounds short of the first down. So short of the first down for Sutton. So that'll be a turnover on downs. And the Sanders Redskins will get probably one more play if they choose to run a play. Will not have to run a play, but it'll be first and 10 at the 42-yard line for St. Henry with 29 seconds left here. Check and see. May get a different quarterback here for St. Henry. A couple new offensive linemen out there as well. The clock is spinning already, so they may not run a play here. Need to get a quarterback here. Have not. Yeah, it looks like number 20 for the Redskins, Eli Brewing, a 5'11", 160-pound sophomore. If he can get him to the line of scrimmage in time, they'll get a run a play there. Check and see who the running backs are. From our angle, we got trouble seeing the new guys there. So check and see, got the I formation behind Broering, and they will get a snap off and running the football for about a three-yard pickup is Isaiah Horseman, 5'9", 150-pound sophomore, and that will be the last play of the football game. Final tonight is Coldwater 41, San Rui 7, the Cavaliers, the number one team in the state, 5-0 and 3-0 and in the MAC. Host Parkway next week. Well, the Redskins fall to one and four. They travel to Minster to take on the Wildcats next week as well. And O oh and three in MAC. Coldwater 41, San Rui 7. When we return, it'll be that hometown opportunity. Find a job Friday post-game show on 96.7.